Hello and welcome. Today we're diving into the world of ASO, App Store Optimization. If you've ever wondered how apps appear in search results or how to improve your app's visibility, you're in the right place. This video will explain the basics of text optimization for the App Store. Plus, we'll optimize apps in real time, showing you how to apply these strategies effectively. Let's get started. App Store Optimization, or ASO, is the process of improving your app's visibility in the App Store. Think of it like SEO, but for apps. The better your ASO, the higher your app appears in search results, leading to more downloads. Now, let's take a moment to compare mobile users with desktop users. Mobile users tend to be more impatient and less willing to scroll through multiple search results. They want instant answers and convenience which makes App Store optimization even more crucial. Unlike desktop users, who might spend time researching across different websites, mobile users often rely on quick search results and App Store recommendations. That's why ASO plays such a vital role in app discovery. One of the main aspects of ASO is text optimization, selecting the right keywords in your app's metadata to make it easier for users to find. In the first part, which you can find in the suggested videos, we covered keywords and metadata. Now, let's talk about how to properly add them to your app's description on the App Store to boost visibility. Apple's App Store has several key fields for text optimization. When optimizing your app's text, you'll be working with five key fields. Title, this is your app's name and one of the most important ranking factors. Make sure to include your main keyword while keeping it simple and clear. Subtitle. Appearing right below the title, this field gives you another chance to add relevant keywords and provide more context. Keywords. This hidden field is only visible to developers and helps Apple understand which search terms are relevant to your app. Use them wisely. Avoid repeating words from the title and subtitle. Instead of writing full phrases, break them into individual words. Make sure not to add spaces after commas to maximize character usage. Promotional text. This field allows you to highlight special features or updates. You can change it anytime without needing an app update, but it is not indexed for search rankings. Description. Use this space to explain your app's features and benefits. While the description is not indexed for search, it helps convince users to download your app. So, we'll concentrate on optimizing the title, subtitle, and keywords fields in the App Store strategically using relevant search terms to enhance visibility, improve rankings, and increase organic downloads. Tips for App Store Optimization Use the full character limits. The App Store gives you limited space for keywords, so every character counts. You have 30 characters for the title, 30 for the subtitle, and 100 for the keyword field. Make sure you use every character available to include as many relevant keywords as possible, if you leave unused space, you're missing out on potential rankings. Make keywords. Work together. Your title, subtitle, and keyword field should complement each other to form complete search queries. The App Store automatically combines words from different metadata fields to create phrases. For example, if your title has workout and your subtitle has for women, Apple may index your app for workout for women. But if your metadata isn't structured well, you might miss out on valuable rankings. Localize your metadata for different countries. Localization is more than just translation. It's about choosing the right keywords for each market. Even in countries that speak the same language, search behavior can differ. For example, in the US, users search for coloring book, while in the UK, the preferred term is coloring book. Just one letter difference can lead to a major loss of traffic. That's why it's essential to research and adapt your keywords for each country. Even when the language is the same, regional variations in spelling, terminology, and search trends can impact how users find your app. By properly localizing your metadata, you ensure that your app appears in more relevant searches and reaches a broader audience. Did you know that you can add extra keywords to your App Store metadata without affecting your app's user experience? This is one of the most powerful ASO life hacks that many developers overlook. 
Most countries in the App Store are indexed in multiple languages, meaning you can use additional locales to expand your keyword pool and improve your app's visibility. Let's take an example. Say your app is only localized for the United States and available only in English. What many people don't realize is that the U.S. App Store indexes 10 languages. You can check the full localization table in the video description. So, if your app isn't localized in Chinese, you can use the Chinese simplified locale and fill it with English keywords. This gives you an extra 160 characters for keyword indexing, helping you target more search terms without affecting your existing users. This can work with any additional locale, but make sure not to sacrifice the ones your app is already localized for. By using additional locales strategically, you can increase keyword coverage, boost search rankings, and get more organic downloads. Just be careful. This trick only works in locales where your app isn't actually translated. If your app supports multiple languages, you should always match the language of your metadata to the user experience. One important rule. A lot of people make this mistake. Keywords from different locales don't combine. For example, if you add bricks in the English U.S. locale and kids in the Chinese simplified locale, the App Store will not recognize kids bricks as a single search term. To make the most of this strategy, always place important keyword combinations within the same locale. This is a super effective ASO trick that can help you expand your keyword reach and improve your app's discoverability without making any changes to your app's content. Now, let's dive into the practical side of ASO. I'll walk you through how to optimize an app for the App Store step-by-step -step using ASO Creator by ASO Mobile. The link to the tool and my discount promo code are in the description. You might be wondering, why use an ASO tool? Can't this be done manually in a spreadsheet? Yes, you can track keywords, character limits, and duplicates manually in Google Sheets or Excel. Some developers still do this. But this approach is time-consuming, increases the risk of errors, and makes optimization less efficient. ASO tools automate and streamline the process, so you don't miss important keywords or accidentally duplicate words that aren't needed for the App Store. How to use ASO Creator? Select ASO Creator from the menu. When you open it, you'll see two main sections. On the left, your keyword list. Next to each keyword, you'll see its traffic score, which helps you understand how popular a keyword is. This way, you can prioritize the most effective keywords when adding them to your metadata. You can also sort the list by popularity or ranking position. On the right, the metadata fields that need to be filled in. These fields vary depending on the store. If you watched the previous video, we talked about how to find relevant and high traffic keywords. Choosing the right keywords is one of the most important steps in ASO, so make sure to check out that video. For the App Store, as we discussed earlier, there are three main fields that affect indexing. Title, subtitle, keywords. When you open ASO Creator for the first time, you'll see the current metadata that's already uploaded in the App Store we're going to modify it to improve your app's visibility. Below the fields, you'll still see your current title and subtitle, making it easy to compare the new version with the previous one. Next to each field, you'll see the available character limit. If you exceed the limit, the tool will highlight the issue so you can fix it immediately. Each field has a hint icon in the shape of a light bulb. Hover over it if you need guidance on filling out the metadata. Now let's go step by step through how to optimize each field. 1. Optimizing the title. The title is the most important ASO field, so it's crucial to use the most relevant and high traffic keywords. These are the words most likely to be indexed first by the App Store. How to add keywords. Click on a keyword in the list to copy it. Paste it into the title field. Once you paste a keyword, it and all related keywords in your list will be highlighted in the left panel. This helps you easily see which keywords you've already used and which ones are still available. Many apps place their brand name first, followed by keywords after a colon or dash. This is optional. Add more keywords, but remember, this is a visible part of your app listing, so it should still look readable. At the top of the screen, you'll see a progress bar. 
This tracks how many of your selected keywords have been used. The goal is to use as many keywords as possible while keeping the search ads and traffic indicators visible below the progress bar as high as possible. 2. Optimizing the subtitle The process is the same as with the title. Copy a keyword and paste it into the subtitle field. Try to use the maximum available characters, but make sure to include different keywords than the ones in your title. If you repeat a word, it will be highlighted in red. This isn't an error, but a suggestion to avoid unnecessary duplication. You can decide whether to keep or replace it. 3. Filling in the Keywords field This section is quick and easy. Copy and paste individual keywords from the list that haven't been used in the title or subtitle. Keywords should be entered as separate words, not phrases, using commas without spaces. To find individual words, go to the Unique Words tab. This tab shows unique words from your list. At the top, you'll see the most frequently used words from your semantic core, sorted from most to least repeated. Want to save time? Use automation. Click Generate Keywords below the Keyword field, and the tool will automatically create a well-formatted keyword list. It won't use words that are already in the title or subtitle, avoiding repetition. It excludes unnecessary words like app, prepositions, and articles. If you have too many keywords, the tool will prioritize the most frequently used words. If you have fewer than 100 characters, the system will add as many as possible. AI-generated metadata Want to generate metadata in any language without speaking it? Go to the AI Generation tab. Select the language and the fields you want to fill. Briefly describe your app's main features, e.g. Meditation app. Add extra features if needed. Optional, add your brand name and target audience. Click Write Metadata with AI. In just a few seconds, the tool generates completed metadata fields using keywords from your list. Localization and ASO Hack ASO Creator makes it easy to manage localizations. You can switch between localizations and fill out metadata for each language. Each localization is highlighted in a different color in the keyword list. By using multiple localizations, you can include even more keywords and increase ranking chances. If you duplicate keywords across localizations, they will be highlighted in red. This isn't an error, just a reminder. Final steps in ASO. Once everything is set, copy each field and paste it into App Store Connect, or download all metadata at once using the download button. After updating your metadata, the App Store will start indexing your app. To efficiently monitor your app's performance, you can use the ASO dashboard. The main goal of App Store optimization is to improve your app's ranking for relevant search queries. In this dashboard, you'll find insights into your app's search visibility and how it has changed over time, helpful for evaluating the impact of your ASO efforts. A key metric to track is the number of indexed keywords, which indicates how many search queries your app appears for. You'll also see keyword trends, including new indexed keywords, those that have improved, and any that have dropped. Ideally, a well-executed ASO strategy leads to an increase in all these numbers. The Keywords Distribution section helps you analyze trends over time. Monitoring daily changes in indexed keywords is essential. Growth in this area suggests that your app is becoming more visible in search results. Additionally, the ASO dashboard provides comparison tools and detailed tables for analyzing your performance against competitors. We'll explore these features in another guide. Track your ASO progress. After a few days, check your analytics. Which keywords are ranking? How is visibility improving? ASO is an ongoing process. Regularly update metadata. Refresh keywords to stay ahead of competitors. Experiment with new keywords. Trends change, always be testing. Optimize continuously. Track rankings and adjust based on real data. Checklist for ASO success. Before you publish or update your app, check these final points. Does your title include a strong keyword? Does your subtitle extend the message logically? Have you filled in all available keyword space? Is your full description informative and easy to read? 
Have you localized your metadata for different regions? By the way, we have a short video on our channel about the most common ASO mistakes in the App Store. Watch it to make sure you don't make them yourself. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss more ASO tips, mobile marketing strategies, and industry insights. Got questions? Drop them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. See you in the next video.